How are you going? I've been in the USA for a month, and in that time there's been 63 mass shootings, including the Robb Elementary School shooting in Ivaldi. And you know, I intended to come here and make something really dangerous, but I've now realized I can't compete with normal, everyday American life. So instead, I'm going to attempt to help and solve America's school shooting problem by strapping a gun to this robot dog. And you may think this is a dumb way of stopping school shootings, and so do I, but there are so many people out there that genuinely believe more guns in the classroom is the answer to a kid bringing a gun into a classroom. They beat somebody, a good guy with a gun. We should have a law enforcement officer at every school. He has armed law enforcement on the campus and prepare and train uh, teachers and other administrators. So here's my pitch to you. Let's skip having an armed person in every classroom as the cops in Ivaldi failed to do anything anyway. So instead, every school in America has a robot dog with a gun on it. Then when an armed person enters the room, Bam, the dog smashes out of the cupboard and neutralizes the threat. And the best part, unlike cops, robot dogs don't get scared. But before this is implemented around America, I should probably build a prototype first. And luckily, I have fellow soy boy, William Osman, who knows nothing about guns, but is good at making dangerous things. Now, the building process was a little bit different to my other videos, as when I came up with this idea, I didn't actually have the robot dog, a gun, or a place to shoot it, which turns out are all quite important. And I do actually happen to know a fellow YouTuber that owns a robot dog that he spent a very large amount of money on, which they've only filmed one video with and is now collecting dust in their house without a gun strapped to it. But unfortunately, that person is lame and didn't want to get arrested. So I needed to find someone else that was keen. And lucky for me, a man named Jonathan Miller that lives in El Paso, Texas, agreed to let me use his robot dog, but on one condition. He needs to remain anonymous. So William Osman and I started the hard process of designing a bracket for the robot dog and a system to remotely fire the gun without actually having the robot dog or gun. And our plan is to use a pre-made gun holder that can adjust to fit many different types of guns which will sit on top of the dog. Then we designed and 3D printed some parts. And by we, I mean William designed the complicated one and I designed this cylinder with holes in it. And this system works by having a servo motor here with a string attached to the servo arm, which runs through the trigger. Then all we did was connect the servo to a remote control. And now... <laughs> that works so easily. Oh, don't film me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make, William? <laughs> it's able to squeeze the trigger of this fake gun, which is honestly already terrifying. This feels like we're doing a terrorist attack. <laughs> I, I, it feels wrong, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And now that we've made the system, we need to travel to meet Jonathan Miller in Texas. And barely 10 minutes after we picked up the dog, we realized we messed up. The mounting system was not gonna fit the dog how we thought it would. So we had to make some changes, which we couldn't do in our hotel room. So we put on some hard hats and high vis and sat in the parking lot of our hotel with some work cones and no one asked any questions and the dog was actually slightly helpful in fixing itself. You pass the drill. Well. Except when he got too excited. He <laughs> <laughs> just curious, just spray things on the floor. <laughs> but eventually after two hours of using the wrong tools we managed to get the mount to properly fit so now we just had to get a gun oh my god and lucky for us we were in the same place as brandon herrera one of youtube's biggest gun channels and a man that lives just down the road from the avaldi shooting and believes america needs more guns And even though Brandon and I share very different political opinions, I got in touch with him and explained what we were doing. 
and he agreed to let us go to his range where we could safely shoot the dog and to also use some of his guns. Now Brandon has a lot of guns, like a lot, and definitely was practicing his second amendment right to bear arms by owning a missile, a gun for taking down helicopters, and a World War I machine gun. Now I definitely wouldn't try to rob a man with a missile. But lucky for us, he also had some light, fully automatic weapons which we could put on the dog. And he recommended the MP5, which doesn't have much recoil. And based on the dog's sketchiness so far, I think we want as little recoil as possible. So we adjusted the mount to fit the gun and then turned on the dog so we could put the mount on top of it. You don't know when he's gonna jump up and strike. Whoa. <laughs> all righty let's put a gun on this thing <laughs> what could go wrong is that his battery <laughs> he shot his own battery out and that filled us full of confidence so we strapped down the gun and mounted it to the dog using some ratchet straps all right here we go And I'm starting to think this dog is scared of guns too. He's just shaking all over the place. But it seems like we can still aim in the up and down and side to side directions. And most importantly, can still jump shot. No, 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 don't no, do it. I'll just, I'll, don't you do watch it. it, you watch it. Why would you do it? Because it's going to face them as well. Okay, well don't do it. Then. I don't know why we would do that. Just, just stay on top of it. <laughs> I want to know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, f***ing oh, job. Oh, oh. <laughs> so we think the dog is working well enough. So we packed it up and a heap of guns and took it out to Brandon's private range in the middle of nowhere. And seeing this robot dog in real life actually walk around with a gun on top of it was pretty surreal and terrifying, especially knowing how easy it was for us idiots with no real experience to make this in a couple of days. But we still don't know if it works. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and it's having even more trouble walking around out here on the uneven surfaces. And most of the time it kind of just gets off balance and then runs off in that direction. It's still slipping sideways. But it should still work. So we decided it was time for the very first test shot, which is the perfect opportunity for us to work out the aiming system as well, which is just going to be a GoPro positioned behind the gun sights connected to my phone. Then once it seemed to be lined up with the sights, Brandon put a single round in and I attempted to hit this white claw. But first, a word from the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. I've been using NordVPN since I was a child and it's allowed me to comfortably and safely use the internet my whole life as it protects all my data and web activity. You could say that NordVPN works in a similar way to this gun dog and protects its users from the dangers of the world. NordVPN works by protecting all of your internet data behind a wall of next generation encryption and has over 5,200 servers in 60 countries. That's a lot of countries. Nord is incredibly useful for me, especially when I'm in America making a gun dog, but want to access my accounts back home in Australia without triggering annoying security and getting my accounts locked. It's also great for accessing location locked content, getting faster internet speed and safely accessing public Wi-Fi. So go now to get an exclusive NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com slash I did a thing. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, back to the robot dog test shot. Yeah, well.
And the aiming was pretty difficult, but it is accurate. And best of all, the dog barely moved when it shot. So we moved on and set up some props to test how the dog goes in a school shooting situation. I think our aim is going to be to not shoot the children. That's well, a pretty controversial statement. Children. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the gun boys would stop us when we whipped out the school kid targets, but they were still keen for me to put them up and run through a school shooting scenario. And I feel bad even setting up these targets to shoot. So let's hope the gun dog is accurate enough to only take out the bad guys. So we're trying to hit this guy? Yep. And this guy. And this is where it starts to get very dangerous. As before, it was stationary. But now the dog is going to be running around with a submachine gun with 30 rounds of ammunition. This is starting to feel very real now. Yeah. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> And it wasn't only us, the gun boys were also very nervous around this gun when it was placed in the hands of something unpredictable. And based on how much it loved to jump around, I don't think we can really be behind him. So the plan is to hide behind a mound on the left from where we can safely control the dog. I would be on aiming duty and William would be controlling the safety remote, which needs to be turned on and then also shooting. What do you call this position? It's a pose. What does it do? It uh, makes it obvious that no, no one is touching the remotes. So I set down the dog in front of the targets and then Brandon cocked the first round and we were ready for the real test. And I very quickly realized a problem. I thought I'd be able to hide behind the mound and control the dog, but the mound interrupts the GoPro signal. So I actually need to place my hands above the mound with a line of sight in order to control the dog. Even if we're above the berm, we're fine because if some wonky sh down, all we have to do is get below. There's all yeah, I've got it. I've got it aimed on a couple of things. There you go. Okay. Shoot. You want me to shoot? Trigger's armed. Tell me when. Yeah, shoot. Trigger disarm. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, is it pulling the anti shit? Okay, it's disarmed. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Did you guys forget the siren? Oh. Dog fell over. Dog fell over. Oh. And after reviewing the damage, it was worse than I thought. Oh, Alan! Wait, what? Absolutely face shot this kid. Um, that, that was a that was a kill shot. If that's what you were going for, you did I wasn't a great going job. For that. I was going for his bubble. I didn't hit any bad guys, and I took out one kid. It's all right though. I, I think I've worked out the problem. We need more ammunition and we need the gun to be fully automatic. What the f are you doing? Can you press the button? Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how I said I was scared of this thing before? And people online are always saying how scared they are of these becoming the future of warfare? I now kind of feel the opposite and less worried about robots. These things are expensive, and more importantly, idiots. <laughs> and if the military wants to kill people, it's always gonna be cheaper and easier for them to just trick young boys into doing it for them. Uh, yeah, she is in rock and roll. Full, full auto. And the dog really can't handle the gun and always ends up on the ground. And not only that, the recoil causes the dog to run backwards while freaking out and lifting its legs in the air, spraying across all the targets. But this time I did a little better with the aiming and managed to hit our school shooter twice in his vital organs, his finger and his bag. So this time, in order to guarantee we would hit the target, we placed the dog directly in front of this old man. 
and then tried again with another full 30 round magazine. You get about one burst before the dog falls over. <laughs> <laughs> got some good hits. Got the leg there, that's a nice little femoral bleed. This guy's not going to be doing any kitty diddling anytime soon. <laughs> got Whoa. One, two, three, four. What mouth five, shot. Six. His mustache. Dude, I that's mean, pretty so it good. it works if you start it completely dead on with something in front of it. Yes, oh, exactly. In terms of aiming, oh my god. Was there any collateral? Oh my god. Why, why every time I hit a kid, it's just a headshot? <laughs> and at the end of that, we hit two bad guys and two kids, which isn't actually that bad and is a similar rate to normal American police. But there was still one thing I wanted to try, a real jump shot. Good to go? Yep. That is live and on semi. And as you can see, I don't think I've really solved America's school shooting problem. It's almost as if the more guns you have in the classroom, the more kids get shot. But I don't think this whole thing has been a complete waste of time. And I think I've realized how this dog can really help American police. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.